I have a dear friend that I have known for years and years, um, a wonderful woman of God. Um, she worked until she was 78 years old with children with disabilities and severe disabilities. She ministered to those children, their families, seven days a week, never took a day off, and would not retire, but then finally did at 78. Well, my dear friend passed away about two years ago, and she knew that we here at the Hope Collective had a vision and had already started um, movements towards making sure that a child with a disability felt welcomed here and that their families um, were tended to well. And she knew that. And when she passed, um, she left a nice chunk of money um, because she knew we had the vision to make sure that all their needs were met. And so our park is going to be called Peg's Place. Um, this park will be specifically designed to meet the needs of those who have physical and sensitivity disabilities here in our county. Um, it will just not serve those that call the Hope Collective home, but our entire community. Yeah, so, so working with the physically disabled children, um, you know, having, having a place like this playground where they can, where they're able to access um, you know, something that, that everyone can access. I mean, it's going to open up the opportunities for socialization, for their own independence. They're not gonna be regulated to just one area of a playground that they might be able to play in. They're gonna be able to navigate and be independent throughout the whole thing. And it's just gonna build so much more self-confidence in them and self-assurance, self um, you know, just being able to have that. So it's just gonna be a beautiful, bridge um, sp specifically for what we do at the center trying to build that independence and working on life skills and all that kind of stuff for them this is going to be such a, a an amazing opportunity to bridge that gap buddy break is a respite event for parents with kids with special needs to be able to drop off that very special person in their life that has significant needs um, and their sibling to be able to spend time playing with other kids while the parents and caregivers go off and have a chance to get a break. Um, their day-to-day -day life is crazy. The responsibilities on these parents is huge. And we just want to be a place where they can bring the kids, the kids have fun, and they can relax knowing that their kids are in a safe, welcoming environment um, for them to play in. Yeah, a lot of the um, ways that Dallas gets to play on the playground is just by watching the other kids play, and um, she doesn't get to be included. Her inclusion is just to observe. Because I don't know how to swing. Yeah, swinging is hard because the swings don't let you have your wheelchair on them. So it would be really cool if there was a swing big enough that you can use your wheelchair, right? Yeah. Yeah. In the past, we've gone to playgrounds before with her brothers and her, and I would have to assist her to go down the slide or swings, and the swings weren't adapted to her. So a lot of times I would sit on the swing with her, and it, you know, it was okay, but it would be nice if she, we found a playground that was adapted for her and she could enjoy it. The playground is has been des designed and constructed from with everything in mind, from kids with physical limitations to kids with sensory needs. We've had a team of special education teachers, a speech therapist, physical therapists, occupational therapists, parents, everybody that would have a role in these kids' lives has had a part in designing this playground. What's, what's most important to me as a business owner is I live this every day because I am disabled, I have a spinal cord injury, and I'm still new with this and learning how to live life like this. My children get to see how their father deals with this. Um, so I want kids from the get-go, kids in this community to be able to have what they need, the resources they need in a playground um, where they can be included. The most important thing as someone who's disabled is you just want to belong, and you don't want to have to fight for that, and you just want to be included. So I can't wait for this to get started. It's gonna be coming really soon here to the Lake Zurich area. And uh, the Hope Collective is doing a great job by bringing this 
to everyone in the surrounding communities. So you may be wondering, why are you getting this video? Well, we want you to have the opportunity to partner with us here at the Hope Collective to make this dream come true for these children, for their families. Um, and you can have a part, no matter if it's small or, or if it's big. Um, we are looking for people who are excited with us about this opportunity. We want to break ground this spring. And Peggy has already left us about 80% of what we need to do that playground. So there is just a small percentage left. And I would just like you to have the opportunity to make this dream come true.